We're eager for you to get started on your S18 electric unicycle. But before you start, you have to learn about the suspension, properly inflate it to prevent any damage to the suspension system. Here are two important things you should know about the suspension system. On the back, you'll see the blue O-ring. This blue O-ring should not drop below 20% of the height of the suspension. That means the suspension should not go all the way down as you'll risk damaging it. The second thing to know is that there is no best setting. The best setting is dependent on the, the terrain that you'll be riding on and your right side. On the back, you'll see the blue dial. This blue dial opens and closes the suspension system. When it's closed, the wheel will act as if there is no suspension system. Right behind it, you'll see the red rebound. The rebound adjusts the sensitivity of the, of the suspension system. When you rotate it anti-clockwise, it'll take small bumps better. And when you rotate it clockwise, it'll take big jumps and big bumps better. To inflate the suspension, you'll need to remove the positive and the negative air chamber caps. These are the red caps on the back of the suspension. Please refer to this card, which is located in your S18 box. On this side, you'll find out what the dials do. And on the other side, you'll find out the PSI required for the, right, for the weight and the right terrain that you'll be riding on. Let me show you how to start pumping the suspension system. You'll need to remove the positive air chamber valve cap and the negative air chamber valve cap. You'll first need to let go of all the air in the suspension system. After removing the valve caps, you can use a key and just make sure that the air is completely gone from the suspension system. After that, you'll need to push down on the wheel to expose the suspension. Now that the suspension is exposed, you'll put down the pedal. You'll take the brick that's located in your wheel, in, in the box, and you'll place it right here. 